We are two months into the Atlantic hurricane season and it's still expected to be above normal, but as Weather Authority meteorologist Mark Collins shows us, it might not be as bad as first thought. Today, a new update from hurricane forecasters, both at NOAA and Colorado State. They've updated their numbers and revised them down a little bit. Still looking at an above average year, but another 15 storms in addition to the three that we had. So we could come up with 18. So that's the latest prediction from Colorado State forecasting at least eight hurricanes this year, four being major. In addition to that, NOAA, another agency, gives us a range of 14 to 20. They've revised their number of hurricanes down one. So still looking at the potential for an active season because of La Nina, the cold water here in the Pacific is still expected to reduce shear, which could allow for storms to develop in the central main development area of the Atlantic Ocean. And this is where water has actually warmed up over the past four weeks. So there's still expected to be an actual increase in storms here as we head into September 11th. That's the peak of the hurricane se season. And 90% of all the hurricanes happen from August through uh, October. And so as we head through these next months, they're gonna be watching this cool pool of water to see if it mixes south. And they think that perhaps it could, and that's why they've adjusted those numbers down just a little bit. But right here in our own backyard, we've got some very warm water, and that could lead to some quick forming storms just off the east coast. And here you can see, once we get into August, those hurricanes really do ramp up through October. November 30th is the last day of the hurricane season, but storms are very rare during November. On average, you might get one hurricane every two years. But when we look back to last year through early July, there were six storms. So it was a slow start to the hurricane season. Then there was a lull through the middle portions of the season, like there were 31 days where there was nothing. And then after August, there were about two and a half storms every week, and that led to the third most active season. So it was a late start to storms with that lull last year. Hopefully it's a late start for the entire season, but we'll see you over the next couple months. Mark, thank you. John, it is eerily quiet in the tropics. It really is. And again, we're going to talk. I'm going to talk about a newsletter that we put out here in the weather office. And we concur totally to what they are saying at NOAA and at CSU. But I'd actually bring it down even much further. There are strong indications this could be a pretty quiet season, even more normal than what you uh, might would expect. So let's just talk about it real quick. The big story is what happens after August 20th, because right now it is super quiet out there in the tropics. Here we are on the calendar. And again, this is May 1st. We get a couple every now and then in May. In fact, recently it's been very often June, July. Not a lot of chances here. Recent years, as you just saw Mark, lots of storms there going on early season. But now we really see historically the, the, protection, the probability of seeing something develop really takes off. And that's what we're looking for. But right now, as quiet as you can ask it to be at any time of the year and very little going on, very few chances. Upper level winds are all wrong. We have cold water in spots. We have dry air. We've talked about that uh, Saharan air that has been working its way across the Atlantic Ocean. But this is what we call the MDR. This is the main development region. And we still see some pink here, which represents that we have the opportunity with warm water to get a couple of storms going. But this blue here represents much cooler than normal water that's going on there. And strangely, yes, there is a La Nina going on here, but right off the coast, uh-uh, water temperatures are really spiked. And as such, it's more of a El Nino looking pattern. So there's a lot of controversy here in terms of what makes a La Nina and El Nino. They do see it as being a La Nina at the moment. Technically, it is a La Nina, but there is unusually warm water there and unusually warm cold water out here in the Atlantic. As mentioned, there's a newsletter out there. We put it out here in the weather office. You can get it if you're an insider. Just have to go to newsforjax.com. There are all sorts of newsletters that we can get you updated on. Sports has some very popular ones. We have this popular one, the Weather Authority Insider. And if you sign up, just have to give us your email. You'll get these updated throughout the week. It says Wednesday there, but it's oftentimes just about any day of the week. Just as things get exciting in the tropics, you can bet we'll have some inside information on that. It's an edge 
to what you would not normally read or see.